Hey, this is Belinda with Willow Birch and Clover, and I wanted to do a really quick tutorial for you. It's really not a tutorial, I don't guess. It's more of a demonstration. I had um, a couple of comments. Sometimes I get behind on my comments from my older videos, and um, I go back and look, and I find things that people want me to demonstrate for them. And a couple of the comments wanted me to show how I do my script stamping on my pages. And it's really very simple. I'll show you um, nothing to it. I've got a journal that I'm working on here. That's why you'll see gesso and everything else on my hands. But this is a page that is coffee stained with some lace sewn on it, and I've got some splotches of gesso. And you just randomly put those on, um, you know, to force some uh, added, it looks like texture on the page, and really it is because it feels a little different. Um, but it also makes a very nice background for stamping. Now, all I have to stamp, I have this script stamp that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's wood backed. What I would recommend is um, waiting until the stamps go on sale. You know, every two weeks they're on sale for like 50% off or you can use your 40% off coupon and get you a, a good script stamp. This one was $10.99. So, you know, it would be $5.50 plus tax with your 50% um, off and about $6.50 with the coupon. So, and I use um, Stays On Ink. I have blacks and browns. I have different colors of stay zone, but I'm gonna use black on this one so that it shows up good for you. Um, and what I do is, you don't want it too symmetrical or it looks planned, if that makes sense. So um, I find a spot on my stamp just randomly in the, in the middle. I rub, I'm just rubbing a little ink like that, and I'm gonna come right here and press and come right here and press. And I don't want it, the reason why I rub instead of dab is it makes a lighter imprint so that it can still be written over. And what you wanna do is go to your gesso spots, excuse me, and put a little ink. See, really, really simple. And it adds a lot to the page. And I'll flip it over and do the other side. This one has less gesso. So I might tap a little bit to get a little bit darker impression, see? And I'm gonna tap. One of the main things is to make sure that your stamp is right side up. This one is written in French, so I have to really look at the letters to make sure, you know, that it's correct. And just kind of eyeball it because your pages in your book are gonna be separated by other pages. So when you flip through them this way, as opposed to looking at them open and flat, it's not too much. I do want to come back right here on this gesso spot and do a little, and if you'll notice, I'm turning my stamp in different directions, just not upside down, okay? And that adds interest and texture. So it really is just that simple. Um, and I go through my pages and decide if I want to do every page or every other page, and it does take a little time but it really adds to the look of your book. So that's how simple it is with the Hobby Lobby stamp and stays on ink to do the script stamping on the pages. Thank you.